Hey everyone, it is Kazlo, and we are back with some more highlights from my Endwalker playthrough. Uh, we finished last time uh, just unable to stop Fandaniel and Xenos before they teleported to the moon. Um, and so today we're going to start off chasing them to the moon and seeing what happens. Uh, so let's get to those, and I'll see you all afterwards. Trip to the moon. My apologies, I was lost in thought. This device is of elegant design. Which leads me to think I was right about Van Daniel. No matter what he claims, he still has an attachment to the trappings of his past. Long, long before Dalamud was forged to imprison an elder primal, the eldest of them all, savior of the star, was sealed within a moon of his own. Souls sacrificed to grant him life still slumber and dream of the day he and we will be made whole. Here he waits in this cold, barren place, his cradle and his grave. Silent lamentations and prayers of hope echo soundlessly to a sundered star, adrift and alone. This room, though, <laughs> as much as it feels like Alligan. Oh, the Watcher! Didn't know we were in Marvel already. Ever since this moon was created by Heidelin, I have served as an integral part. I am the Watcher. Seriously, a Watcher on the moon. It is Marvel. <laughs> I am responsible for the prisoner and the devices that hold him fast. Zodiac himself, projection of the moon's core. Souls sacrificed to summon Zodiac, a manifestation consequence of the waning seal. So long as Zodiac remains imprisoned in this place, no more sacrifices will be made in his name, nor will those souls rendered up in his name fade into oblivion. Go. Meet with these wandering spirits. Do what you think is right. So Zodiac's imprisonment is keeping these souls here and alive instead of allowing them to re be reborn. A moon dog. Where are you taking me, moon dog? What kind of liquid is that? It is more goopy than. than like water. There's moon cactars. What are they called? <laughs> you fucking... Luna tenders. So Sabo tenders, Luna tenders. And I love it. <laughs> They're still dancing over here, too. Zodiac, our lord and savior. Forge our world anew. Pardon me, but would you be so as kind, so kind as to step aside?
Ah, that unmistakable color, the soul of a Zim. It's Hytholius! Well, not the friend I knew, I think. Nevertheless, you are you. Hmm. So I'm at Silk meant for you to have it. Seems surprised. Why might that be? We meet again, High Flodius. Again? I do not believe I have yet had the pleasure. But so created a shade in my likeness, and not only me, but all of Amarant. <laughs> I very like him. <laughs> I know not what you and your friends intend for Zodiac, or the future of the star. Nevertheless, in you I place my trust and faith. In you I choose to believe, as I'm accepting. Believe in yourself, and all will be well. Another seal broken. Hmm. More new arrivals. Though, huh. Then Daniel, the color I know. And another I do not. An unfamiliar but fearsome being. I have kept you from your duty. By way of apology, I will ensure that the shades hinder you no more. Protect the final brand. Where, fare you well, my new old friend. Part of me feels like these souls should return to the ethereal sea, so if there's a way we can do that. The dog growls, agitated. <laughs> Cry havoc and let the slip the dog of war. That's you, by the way. You must protect the brand. Come on, boy. The dog nudges you with its nose. You get the feeling it wants you to hop on? Lunar dog map. God, I hope we get this as a real mount. So what are those bulbous things? of time to savor the crowning triumph unbound and free at last arise zodiac Deprived of heart and will by the loss of dearest Elidibus. A creature of pure instinct. Wanting for guidance. But powerful, oh 
you're so powerful. More so with every passing moment. Such potential. Even in this incomplete state. Still the savior who delivered a world from certain doom. Sorry to spoil the moment, but might I ask that you postpone the slaughter until I've said my piece? I promise I will be brief. He's going to turn on Xenos. Do you remember when I told you that I wanted to die and take everyone with me? I meant it. He's going down to be the heart. the Savior. We are the Guardian, the Keeper of Natural Order. We are the Martyr, the Bestower of New Beginnings. We are... Of its destruction. It cannot end this way. We must return and be made whole. We are the will of the star, now and forever. For the greater good, for the sake of the world. endure. Believe and walk in faith. Let the light of your soul shine for all to see. Not quite the outcome you'd imagined, but a fitting one nonetheless. Don't you think so, Hades? Is that the real Hythlodius?
Did they make the trial level 83 also? There's no Zodiac to stop them. So the laws are now unwritten. into the dreamless slumber. A tired song and dance. Routine. Always I wake. But not this time. <laughs> Nothing left unsaid. Nothing hey, left undone. <laughs> Inherit my hell. I intone with glee. The man I was would weep for what I have become. The all consuming contempt. But I've the wisdom of ten millennia to justify my answer to the question. No value in their existence. Not a whit. For all that I looked. None that I did see. A final chance, then, for Heidelin and her faithful. In cataclysm, prove me wrong. I sneer. All shall return to nothingness. As was your will, Emperor Zande. I, the star, and every living being, Consigned to your oblivion. They're the way through the story, you defeat the Zodiac. Is 
Is that you, Lavos? Deep breaths, slow and steady. With the death of Zodiac, the laws of nature over which he presided had begun to unravel. The final days are upon us. What you witnessed was an omen granted by the Echo, a vision of the horrors to come. What are you doing, Xenos? No. I'll find no fulfillment in a contest with you this day. Slavering beasts gather at your gates, ravenous and eager. Already you turn to them and away from me. Memorial tidings to share, you see? I sensed others arriving not long ago. Though my communions with Heidelin have grown infrequent, I have learned enough from her to know these are your comrades. And as luck would have it, they have already reached my abode. Come, let us join them. Thank goodness you are unharmed. We did what we could to subdue, subdue the temper before making our way here. Now, without casualties, unfortunately, some few detonated explosives, killing themselves and others. Contingent's healer, healers had their hands full, tending to the injured, and enthralled when we took our leave. Must you wonder, Mistress Kyle hath also delivered unto their care. Serving as a conduit for Heidelin's power hath taken its toll. But she will recover in due course. As for Alphano and Alice, they insisted on remaining in Garlemald once we rushed to your aid. It appears, however, the matters here have already come to a conclusion. But what manner of conclusion, if I might ask? And is this the ally whom Heidelin bade you seek out? He is not unlike the Shades of Amarant. Not unlike, perhaps, but not the same. I was created by Heidelin, together with this place. It has ever been my duty to keep vigil over Zodiac, or rather, it was my duty. And Zodiac is no more. Not without consequence, I'm afraid. For now, the delicate weave of the star, preserved by his presence, will begin to unravel. You mean to avert the final days you shall have need of. Are you all right? My attempts to forestall Zodiac's release have all but exhausted my strength. You might allow me to rest a short while. I will share with you all I can. Yeah, we didn't get a full oh, sense of the map. The Keratorium! <laughs> yeah, that's where the Lollaprits are gonna be. I thank you for affording me this short reprieve. There is much we could learn of Zodiac and his imprisonment. But perhaps you could offer us more focused guidance. Pray, tell us of the calamity that came before and comes now again. Oh, yeah. 
Long ago, before the Great Sundering, there was but a single word. Etherius. One day, from within the earth, a terrible cry issued forth. Affecting a profound change in all manner of life. We were not exempt. Our creation magics ran rampant, giving shape and form to thoughts of hopelessness and despair. At first, the phenomenon was limited to a single region, but quickly, so very quickly, it spread and engulfed the, world, the whole of the star. Were the ancients ever able to deduce its source? They were not. However, the Convocation struck upon a method to predict where the next corruption would manifest. The etheric energies which flow through all creation in the form of various currents. Currents which course through the land and seas. Those which flow through the very air. And those of a celestial nature which encompass both our star and this moon. Currents. I cannot say I am familiar with the concept. Nor would I expect you to be. Few scholars of our time knew of their existence. Their invaluable knowledge helped us to better understand the nature of the calamity. Like the terrestrial ones of Earth and Air, the celestial currents form a vast network. But the ethereal dis distribution is not consistent. Convocation soon realized that the inciting incidents occurred in regions where the flow was weakest. Correlation without clear cause, ultimately. Nevertheless, on a closer study, the stagnancy of ether was observed in nearby currents. Well, celestial ethereal energy. Yeah, they are pointing more and more towards Lavos. That I'm going to be a little bit disappointed if it's not at this point. <laughs> Indeed, there was a faction opposed to Zodiac's creation, but their aim was never to unmake it. They understood that the continued preservation of the natural order was dependent upon his very existence, until we could identify and address the underlying cause of the final days. He would need to remain for his departure. It set in motion those apocalyptic, for apocalyptic forces once more. Eidolon recognized this as well, and so rather than destroy, she sundered Zodiac, herself and the star into lesser reflections, that she might confine him to in this place. And what she told me in the Ethereal Sea was false. This is what we've been talking about for a while. <laughs> that the two once dwelled as one until Zodiac grew hungry for power, upsetting the balance twixt them? Not quite a lie, though a rather gross embellishment. Though it was likely within her power to do so, I believe she did not wish to speak to speak of Aetherius and her history. Like Zodiac, Heidelin's purpose is a reflection of her creators. They wish to look to the future and not linger in a prison of the past. The Asians set in motion seven rejoinings before we came to oppose them. How many more worlds would have been lost had we not placed our faith in her? How many more souls living in the present? would have been snuffed out for the sake of those long dead. 
Well, in light of recent events, I see no reason to doubt your words. And even if Hydaelyn is not a god in truth, if Minfilia believed that we should trust in her plans, then I choose to do just that. Which brings me to a rather important question. Let's suppose we try but fail to stop this second coming of the final days. Should the source fall, what will become of the other worlds? The nomenclature is more fitting than you know. Bring ruin to the source and its reflections will share its fate. Ah, it is ready. This way, if you would be so kind. Beautiful sight, is it not? Yes, but what is it? Evelyn knew better than any of that than any that her powers were not absolute. Did indeed she has ever struggled to hold, Zard hold Zodiac and his faithful at bay? She feared the worst and so made preparations. In the event of his demise, there would be a contingency. This moon is more than a prison. It is a vessel capable of bearing the people of Aetherius to safe harbor. It's a ship? You need not go far to find its pilots. In fact, I should be happy to take you to them and fulfill my final duty as a watcher in the dark. So there you have it. I did not expect that we would be uh, defeating Zodiac at the 63 point, or I mean, uh, 83 point. Uh, I thought we were going to be somewhere closer to like 85, 86 uh, when that happened, but there it is. Um, I'll have more videos like this out, uh, so be sure to click that subscribe button so you can see them as soon as they go live. Uh, I also have links in the description below to my Twitch channel where you can give me a follow and know anytime I go live over there. Uh, as well as links to my social media and a link to my Discord channel if you want to be part of the daily community. Uh, but that said, we will see you all next time. Take care.